There are six things that God told me that shows that the Holy Spirit dwells with us. But I would love to share these words that we have read first so we can pray after. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, one of the greatest prophets. He lived with God. He prophesied in his stuff. The Israelites were taken into captivity into the great sorrow. But God met him. He stood him. Said, Though you're going through all the battles and tribulations in Babylon, I know you're there. But I have something to talk to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Ezekiel prophesied. Prophesied great things. But the word we have read, he was where God wanted to show him that he should be an elder prophet. That he should know the value of God calling him. That he should know the level of what God, God is going to use him. God told him that stand Ezekiel, go to the church, go to the temple, and I'll show you how it is being with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said Ezekiel. He went to the gate of the temple. And he could see water. He was, he was flowing over from that The Bible says that he was flowing from east to the sea. He was from the east side. The Bible says he saw a human being. He had a robe. Let's call it a robe. And he had to measure. He said, Follow me, Ezekiel. He followed him. And he said, Ezekiel, you do what I have to do. When you are led by Jesus, we do what he does. Amen. He said, follow me. He followed him. He measured a thousand meters. The Bible, the the Holy Bible, Bible the Holy Bible speaks about the meter. But a different kind of version of the it speaks about a different thing. So in the, in the Holy Bible, it's a meter. It's a half, a half a meter. In the, in the holy book, in the, Bible, in the Bible, word of God, the version, it means 500 meters. And then he followed him. The, the way he was following him, the way he could go closer to that person, so he had to measure more, his and then water, he reached him up at the, the lower feet. And then water, he then the level of the holy spirit he then kept on following God. He could show how he's going to hallelujah, grow. Hallelujah. Amen. Moment, uh, you get to reveal about Christ. That's how you start growing. When you know God, that's when you start knowing about different things about God. Then Ezekiel, that person told him, keep on following me. Now again, we more five meters. He came to the knees. What came to the knees? Uh, then he said, Ezekiel, this is a, it's not enough. Yes, sir, it's a good place. But you have another place to go. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. And he said to him, Ezekiel, follow me again. And he followed him again. And then he reached out to his waist. That wasn't enough. Because Ezekiel, he wanted to grow. He had to grow. After knowing God, to the west side, that wasn't enough. He said, follow me again, Ezekiel. He followed him again. And then there was much water for him to find He was, he could be filled. He said, he did. Now I know I cannot cross over this water unless if I can, I'm about to swim. The more you live with Jesus, the more you get to have his revelation. The level of the water is the level of the Holy Spirit. The way you live with God, it is worth with what God uses you. Amen. Amen. There is a man who is in the Bible that amazed me so much. Let's read about him. Acts. A man called Apollo. Acts chapter 18. Acts chapter 18. Verse 24. Then there was a man called Apollo. This is what the Bible talks about him. He was an eloquent man. Second, he was a mighty man in the scriptures. 
wo yari yarigishijwe inzira y'umwami Yesu wo yagiraga umwete mwinshi mu mutima avuga ibya Yesu kandi abyigisha neza ariko yaraza umubatiza wa Yohana gusa uh, and a certain Jew named Apollos born at Alexandria and eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures came to Ephesus this man was instructed in the way of the Lord and being fervent in the spirit he spake he spoke and taught diligently the things of the Lord knowing only the baptism of John uyu mm mugabo -hmm. this man Apollo Apollos yari 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 umushumba he was a pastor kandi yavukaga mu bwoko bwiza bw'abayuda and he was born from a good tribe of the Jews just as god has chosen him shimwe nuko natwe kenshi tuba mwidini the same thing that we live in a religion kitwa abana babashumba barunaka and we are called we belong to a certain pastor tukatanga ubuhamya bwo kutwakuriye mu itorero we give testimonies of how we have been in the church and we can say the time of the baptism and everyone can have their card of the muryango wenda wigishumba and maybe speak of you can't from a family of muna bapfiriye kumenya but there's some things that you need to know this apollos we are umuntu winyi hoza he was an eloquent man. It means he could speak. He could prepare the word of God. He could teach the Jews. And he was a wise man. And he was mighty when it comes to scriptures. He knew about the commandments of Moses. He knew about all the, the Israelites. They say another thing. He knew all about Jesus' journey. And he had a zeal in his heart. He could speak about Jesus. He could teach about it diligently. But, but he only knew the baptism of John. This baptism of John. He was the baptism of John. The baptism of uh, Many, many, many waters are that but Jesus said that's not enough because when John was speaking about Jesus he said he who shall come after me he shall baptize you by the Holy Spirit and fire and when you baptize you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire but after that you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire it's good and I see those who drink from the fire I don't even fight that I'm okay with it but the I am as Ezekiel Kurachanewe. It is needed for you to have a revelation of God and know His mighty. Amen. Amen. You might be an eloquent person. You might be a wise person. You might be able to prepare the word of God. You might be able to prepare the God of the saints. You can be a worshiper. You can be a great preacher. You can know everything. Because those are the principles of religion. But people need the Holy Spirit of God. The age of God is this church. So he can measure the water. And you know the level of the Holy Spirit. Know how you live with God. Because Jesus himself is the only one who baptizes water, using water and the Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The baptism of water is that's good. And it doesn't take off the title of the religion. But people need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Jesus said a great word in John 7 37. He said he was, it was a feast day. On this feast day, there's how the, the Jews could celebrate the Israelites. They could remember how God gave them water in the desert. They could take their pots. They go to the river for fetching. On that day, all the Israelites could gather. Then they take one pot and they break it on the pulpit. And then water could flow all over. That could remind them that God by the rock using Moses and God, them, God gave them water to drink. So that, that feast day, that's when Jesus came into our fellowship and he told them this great word. He said, whoever believes in me don't drink on good water not that quenches the thirst. Not this one that you faith on the river and the people that you have received water in the wilderness. Not this one that you are breaking the pot so you can drink water. That God gave you water in the wilderness. Whoever believes in me, the rivers of living water shall flow from there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And when God's Holy Spirit shall come and draw the dead, for as he was raised, he said a great word. And he said, they are flesh. He is God's holy temple. The Holy Spirit, when he comes in us, he, 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 he,
It becomes water that flows. I was wondering why. Yes, you have why you just said whoever believes in me, the, the water of the living life shall flow from them. Why is it? Why can it stand to one position? Water that is in one position, it has dirt. It has dirt. When water is flowing, it flows with all that dirt. When the Holy Spirit is with us, will flow from them to the rest of what is unworthy. Amen. Amen. We need the Holy Spirit so we can have a revelation. And, and the sixth thing that the Holy Spirit came to talk to me, the, 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 the importance of the Holy Spirit in us, the importance of this water in us, I'll just speak it in a few minutes. First, a life that has the Holy Spirit, it shows God's image wherever we are. Hallelujah. Amen. God's life within us, it manifests God's image, the place where we live. So what, was, what was hard unto Joseph, it was to show God. A, a young man, he had everything that Potiphar, Potiphar's wife wanted. A, a, a handsome man, good looking, the Bible talks him about he was a handsome man. So Potiphar's wife for him to desire Joseph, he still had some things that he had seen unto him that he wanted that she desired. So what was hard to Joseph? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It was not hard for Joseph, a handsome man. You know, in the time of telling the youth to believe in God, handsome men like you, beautiful ladies like you, for this word to be, for you to be you need the Holy Spirit. Joseph, he wasn't hard for him to manifest God before God's first wife. God before they dreamed that <laughs> yeah. it was so easy for <laughs> him <laughs> to manifest God's holy image <laughs> in because he had the Holy Spirit <laughs> of God. When he came from the prison, <laughs> the king said, <laughs> who is the right person <laughs> that has the Holy Spirit <laughs> in this nation <laughs> like Joseph? Where can you find this person? <laughs> he, he didn't study <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> but the Holy Spirit <laughs> of God <laughs> made him stood into <laughs> <a> <laughs> of those who studied. When, <laughs> when, <laughs> when you have the Holy Spirit, is going to give you the right positions. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, he knows where he can place you. He's a great position. The Holy Spirit, he's not unwise. He's wise enough. The Holy Spirit, he has a position he can place you. The right one is one that you believe God and you know that indeed because I was obedient to God, I'm in the right position Let's give him glory. It's so easy to live with the Holy Spirit. And he places you at the right position. I normally tell people that the Holy Spirit it is not the supernatural power only that, that is useless. But the Holy Spirit he should dwell with us. Let me tell you something. Did you know that the Holy Spirit he can teach you how to cook? The problem is we don't, we, don't into, we don't engage him in our daily life. The Holy Spirit will teach you how to dress up. Yes, because it's your protocol. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting this? Hallelujah. Amen. There's one mother who gave us a testimony where we are praying and she said she, she used to cook and use little salt because that, that was her wish. And she thought that's the same thing with her husband once. The moment she, uh, whenever she cooks, she could, feel the, she could see the husband is not interested in the food. He could see that the husband isn't interested in the food. That happened for a long time and she felt sad and she went for prayers and asked God. And she asked God, what is wrong? Why do you prepare food and my husband isn't interested in eating them? The Holy Spirit talked to her 
She said, listen. Yes, your cooking is great. And you really try your best. But your husband, he has an issue that you use little salt. Today, I'm, I'm giving you this secret that you didn't know. Today when you cook, at least do, do try to put to, to, to use the right salt. He's going to be interested and be enjoying the food and you see the train. She went to her and she had to conclude the prayers and she had to do what the Holy Spirit told her to Hallelujah. do. Amen. She prepared the food. She the Holy Spirit told her to do. And she put the sword that is sufficient. She called the husband. You're welcome on the table. Araza. Then the husband came. And he came to the table. They prayed. Araza. And he ate and felt it's Ariyo delicious. Ariyo and he added more. Ariyo he added more. And he said, you know what? I really couldn't tell you before. The reason you could see me behaving like that on a table is because telling you things that are going not going to be on your side. For you to use muscle because you don't like it, that I'll be destroying your emotions. So I was obedient more than being obedient to myself. And she said, how, where, how did you come up with this? The man said, I went for prayers. The Holy Spirit whispered to me and she told me what you like. Let me tell you. When you live with Jesus in your life, the Holy Spirit becomes in your life. He's going to reveal you what you're going to do. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit doesn't need to be far from you. Your mobile phone, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the Holy Spirit. Your clothes, you can tell you that you live with the second thing that the Holy Spirit does in our life, He gives us the power to testify Jesus. You cannot be able to speak about Jesus unless you have the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, Migisha said, that back in days when he was in his primary school, he, they went to the same school as the Muslim person. When he said a, a, a chorus that Jesus is good, then he could say the opposite, the Muslim person. Yes, he said Jesus that he's good because they have seen the power of the Holy Spirit. This evening, may the Holy Spirit, when he comes to you, you will not testify in Jesus. Amen. The third thing, a life to overcome the evil, we are given it by the Holy Spirit of God. You can I live into the uh, a world of the drunkard people. I told people that sins are not bitter. You know, sometimes people told us sins are something that's so scary, but sins are not like that. Sins aren't bitter. But being saved and receiving well, uh, Jesus, it's sweeter than a life of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I've never did sins, but I've seen people doing sins that enjoy, that enjoy them. And like fornicating, they, they, they have to do it so they can have peace. And like having money, going through the shortcuts. That's their life because there's some rocks that are bounding them. There's nothing sweeter than living with Jesus. And do what God wants you to do. There's nothing sweeter than living with Jesus. And do what God wants you to do. Because Jesus is so sweet and sweet and sweet. More than sin. Yes, and do what God wants you to do. Overcome the evil and live in the world of people who use the drugs and you don't use them. Be in the world of those who enjoy drunkenness and you don't enjoy that. Be in the world of fornicators and you don't fornicate. Be in the world of the jealous people but do you not one of them. It requires you to have the Holy Spirit. It requires you to have the Holy Spirit so you can overcome the evil. The fourth he gives us the power to endure what fights, what, what the tribulation that comes to us. Maybe I can even conclude unto this. Hallelujah. Amen. Enduring is not a specificity of the weak people. Uh -huh, good. 
uh, enduring or patience it's not a specificity of the weak people but endurance that God gives everyone so they can stand and the standard they own the standard that God wants them to be. You know when someone is hungry it requires them to to be patient. When, when you eat and be also satisfied, it requires you to be patient as well. Who, who of you has it happened to? You, you, don't, you don't have a way to sleep. In a short while you are hungry, very hungry. And you endure because you're waiting for food. But now you ate, you're satisfied. It also requires you to endure that. They tell you need 30 minutes for the, for the digestion system to go on. Quihangana. Patience, it is God's holy gift from the Holy Spirit. So you know in long back days, hallelujah, you can Back in days, you had a lady who went at Makuza's place for committing suicide that people hated her. Endurance or patience is the power that we receive from the Holy Spirit. At that time, you stand in the position and the bad life, a bitter life, a bitter life that comes away. You stand in the position and you speak the Holy Spirit of God. He tells you to endure your pain. What you cannot see to pray, you cannot be prepared for it tomorrow. The, the fifth thing, uh, he, the Holy Spirit teaches us how to pray. The Holy Spirit teaches us how to pray. Let me tell you the truth. We have lots of mistakes during prayers. Sometimes you pray for a, a black skirt and the Holy Spirit sees that you need a, a red one. The Holy Spirit is our own protocol. Sometimes you pray for a mention and God looks at like you want to be in a, you, you need to be in an ordinary house. Sometimes you're praying to go in the USA but God says that you need to be in Europe. That's an example. We pray sometimes you're praying foolish prayers. Prayers that are meaningless. But what the Holy Spirit of God does he edits the Holy Spirit he adds his own prayers because he knows God's will. He prays it to what God wants. He's the one who makes it really full. And he says, this lady she wanted to mean this. But she, she means this. The Holy Spirit of God he takes the small prayers the little prayers that we have that are not even powerful full of mistakes and then he changes them. He corrects them. And he says, to God when they are And he said, that man, that young man, he wanted uh, a brown girl. But maybe if you can if you can the middle one, that would be better. Our prayers, they have lots of mistakes. But what the Holy Spirit of God does, he edits and corrects them. Presents them to God when they are complete. And we receive God's word he has prepared for us. And we receive them. And when he has its own nature, he has its own nature. He has its own power. Because he has he was prayed by the Holy Spirit of God. I wish you to have the Holy Spirit of God. I wish you to have the Holy Spirit of God. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. And just as they're going to mention the water, do not allow it to stay into the feet. Not let it to stay into the knees. Neither to stay in the waist. But tell the Holy Spirit. God, to fill you up so you can be deep in the Holy Spirit and stand onto the standard of Peter Christ. Peter said that whenever I pray I pray for God to give you growth to give you sincere milk so he can make you grow and have unto the, the standard of Christ. Let's stand and pray. Tell the Holy Spirit tell him that we 
need you. We need you at our workplace. We need you in our families. We need you at an, an unemployment. We need you when you are still in Africa. We need you when you have moved to other continents. We need to live with you so we can have a great relationship with God. De kamu kawe rabari u gaza iwi mbo na bi kabusa ma holo iwi tuaro ya chenda iku kore ne kamasi ne kamasi uji ma. It's possible that you have a life and you need your life to be prepared. Maybe you respect them. Maybe you love them. When they tell you to do something, you do do it. It. They tell you to not do it, you don't do but it. But you need the Holy Spirit as the senior you leader. Need you, you need him to teach you how to obey you God. God. You need him to teach you what God loves. And you need the Holy Spirit because he's going to help you go to heaven. You need the Holy Spirit of God because you need him more than the baptism of God. You need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Let's come together and tell the Holy Spirit to come in our life. Tell Him to come and dwell with us. And that's where I'll come Him. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. 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 We thank you, Kandi azababgira nibyo ntavuze ukazaje yenda kubya data kabibaha ukawera ahindu kubusima bwacu uko na wari ubusima ukawera ahindu kubusima bwacu kuko ni imana muri twe dukeneye imbaraga sa dukeneye imbaraga zawe mwana dukeneye mukawera mu byo dukora byose dukeneye mukawera aho tugenda dukeneye mukawera mu byo tuvuga dukeneye mukawera mu busima bwose tubayemo Turi mukazi turamukeneye turabashomere turamukeneye turyamye turamukeneye haleluya turi mu mihanda tugenda turamukeneye ducene mukawera mu buzima bwacu kandi ayo mazi ateme mu buzima bwacu kugira ngo twakire ubuzima biye yavuze ngo ayo mazi yatembeye ngibiti byari ku nkombe ngo byakire ubuzima ukandi nibinya buzima biri muri ayo mazi ngo bihabwe ubuzima Uko byari bitemba mu namasi masima uyu mugoroba turasenze dusabye umwuka wera dusabye umwuka wera dusabye umwuka wera mu busima bwacu kugira ngo tuyobore atwigishe 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 urakoze mu kawera urakoze Yesu turagushimye ku bw'Imana nziza wo duhaye ku kawera Shine kugimana nziza mikoro dhani Nizina jayesu 